is that you need a college degree or an MBA to be successful in business. Mm -hmm. What a load of crap, right? That's correct. All right, Certainly so from my viewpoint. So I did some Google research here, and you can jump in here, Jack. Because I was looking at some stuff here just to get just to get a sense, right? So first of all, as of 2012, there are nearly 5,000 colleges and universities in the United States. And with those 5,000 colleges and universities, you've got about 21 million students. That's a pretty good size Boy, population, right? I didn't realize right? that. Yeah, that's, that's quite a good, interesting number. Now, here's, here's where it starts to get a little interesting. Now, the U.S. Department of, of Education study found that by age 27, so that's about, it's not quite 10 years, but most people start college around age 18, right? So about nine years in, only about one in three have earned a bachelor's degree or higher. Really? So one in three, after, after nearly a decade, Jack, of being in school. Only one in three have earned a bachelor's degree or higher. So, also an interesting. Yeah. Statistic. So the rest of them probably kind of dropped out or didn't finish, right? Now, <clears throat> there are a lot of very, very successful people who don't have college degrees, right? Let me give you a few names that you've probably heard of. In the tech world, you got the likes of Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. In the entertainment world, you've got the likes of Oprah, James Cameron, who's a big-time director of movies like Titanic, Tom Hanks. Harrison Ford. All those are non-college non graduates. Non-college graduates, right? Even some of the younger tech guys are like Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook but wasn't a college graduate. Who's a guy from Oracle? Yeah, he, uh, Larry he Ellison. He went to two colleges that he never graduated right. from. Yeah. And you, got, you have a pretty famous athlete back in the day called Tiger Woods. He spent a couple years at Stanford, but he never graduated from college either. He didn't. I yeah. always thought he did. Yeah, so it's, yeah. it's one well, of those things that... explains why he isn't that smart, though. <laughs> <laughs> And that's another thing I was looking at, too. There's, a, there's some stats from census.gov that indicate 64% of business owners had at least some college when they started their business, with 23% who have a bachelor's degree and 17% who have a, a graduate degree, right? So that's you know, about one in four have a degree in terms of owners. And you know, about two-thirds have had some sort of college, right? So, so why do why do people I don't know. And, keep, and, and, keep chasing that dream? Like, yeah, what what a great brainwashing that that whole we'll call it industry has done, and it seems to be running its course now. That I hear more and more about people challenging the uh, the need for college, especially with the price tag. Price tags out of sight, and in, a, in an economy like this, the market will basically dictate where value is. Very so.